Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader on your Samsung Galaxy A52. You may want to unlock the bootloader for many different reasons uh, to uh, do some unauthorized changes on your phone, like for example uh, flash a custom ROM which means uh, your phone will have a different operating, uh, like still Android, but a different version of the Android uh, made by users, not by the original manufacturers, um, which is something in this case. Um, and if you want to do it, or for any other reason, if you want to unlock bootloader, you can do it. But first, we'll need to connect to internet on our phone. So, uh, so let's go to connections, let's go to Wi-Fi, in settings of course, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. It is important to be able to do it. Now let's scroll all the way down to about phone and go to software information. Now click on build number seven times and you may need to enter your screen lock if you have one. Then <clears throat> you are you have enabled the developer mode. You should go back twice and go to developer mode options at the very bottom. Then you'll find enable OEM unlocking. You can see I already have it enabled, but you most likely will have it disabled. So enable it and now you will be able to do it. Before we begin, remember that enabling bootloader will reset your phone and erase all its settings. So you'll lose your data. So if you have any important data, it is important that you back up your phone mm, and then go with the process. Now also it is important that you will need a computer for this. You don't need to do anything on the computer, you just need to use it to plug it into the phone just so the phone detects it's been plugged in. It's a sort of a form of a prevention or from like doing it accidentally in your pocket. So um, let's begin. Don't plug your cable to the computer just yet. Uh, sorry, plug it into the computer, but not to the phone yet. You can plug it in for a moment just to check if you can, for example, transfer any files before, because not all cables are built the same and some cables just won't support data transfer. So it's worth making sure your cable do uh, does because if it doesn't, then it won't work. Okay, so uh, once we have that all established, let's turn our phone off by pressing and holding power and volume down, then click on power off and click on it again. You may need to enter the pattern, pin or password. And now once it's off, uh, make sure the cable is already plugged into the computer. Start pressing and holding on volume up and volume down on your phone. And while doing so, plug it into the computer like that. Now you'll see this blue screen on your phone. You'll need to press and hold on volume up. Once the screen goes off, release, and now shortly press on volume up. Now it'll begin unlocking the bootloader. This may take a moment. Let's press power key to com continue. And uh, let's wait because it will take a moment. It's gonna erase, then it's gonna also take a moment to restart. Also click on power key again. And this restart process will take a long time, so I'll just get back to you when it's done. Okay, now the phone has restarted. It t took a few minutes. Uh, let's start the setup. I'll just go very quickly through the setup because most likely if you're unlocking the bootloader, you'll restart the phone anyway. Uh, I mean, reset the phone anyway by flashing it with a custom ROM. I just want to, you know, show you... Um, something later so uh, okay i will actually connect to wi-fi because not connecting to wi-fi will prevent you for from being able to see uh the oem uh, lock uh, option in the developer options so in order to be able to see it you'll need to be connected to internet now let's go further, I'll just go very quickly and I'll get back to you. 
Okay, I went through the setup super quickly and now we can um, finish everything. So, um, I mean, it's all already finished. I, I just wanted to show you that if I went to the settings, um, I could go to um, about phone again, software information, click on build number seven times. And now if I go back twice, go to developer options, you'll see OEM unlocking is now um, grayed out because it says bootloader already unlocked. And I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.